Hello all and welcome to the Lucretia Report. I'm Ian and today in our co-inaugural episode, who was Lucretia? And why did I name a channel after her? It's 508 BC. Rome is in its semi-mythological early history, and is under the rule of its seventh king, Lucius Tarquinius Superbus. Superbus had come to power 26 years earlier by murdering his predecessor, Servius Tullius, and since then had clamped down in opposition, exiling or executing those who would oppose him. As our story begins, Superbus had just set off to lay siege to the town of Ardea, and had left his son and heir, Tarquin, to rule in his stead. Tarquin was visiting Calatia, a neighboring town and vassal of Rome, and staying in the home of the governor, Lucius Tarquinius Calatinus. There were a lot of Tarquinii, they were a very powerful family. While he was there, Tarquin became enamored with the governor's wife. She was Lucretia. And that night, Tarquin went into Lucretia's room and he raped her. He's the bad guy in this story. The next day, Tarquin rode out to go meet his father's army, and while the Tarquinii were out of Rome, Lucretia dressed in all black, and she walked to the Forum. Lucretia's father had a house at the Forum, and on its steps, she wept, and when her father questioned her, when he asked what was wrong, asked her to explain herself, she first demanded that a crowd be drawn, that witnesses be gathered. Pretty soon the forum was bustling, and amongst the crowd were some of the most influential members of Roman society. Lucretia stood, and in tears, she proclaimed that she had been raped by the son of the king, who was himself to be king one day. She called on Rome not to let this be ignored, and to enact justice on her behalf. And as this revelation washed over the crowd, she drew a dagger from beneath her cloak, and she drove it into her heart. The Greek historian Dionysus of Halicarnassus would later describe the scene as such. This dreadful scene struck with the Romans who were present with so much horror and compassion that they all cried out with one voice that they would rather die a thousand deaths in defense of their liberty than suffer such outrages to be committed by the tyrants. Lucius Junius Brutus not Brutus from Ides of March fame, but they're related. Lucius Junius Brutus arose from the crowd and called out to rally the Romans against their king. Brutus summoned the Curia, a council of nobles that helped to rule the city, and with that transformed the crowd, which was still gathered before Lucretia, into an authoritative assembly. Brutus issued charges against the king. He cited the murder of Servius by which the king had come to power. He cited the forced labor of the plebeians. He cited the murder and exile of Superbus's political opponents. And lastly, with the crowd still looking on at Lucretia, he cited the injustice that had been done to her. The crowd held a debate in which many prominent leaders of Rome spoke and they held a vote. And with this vote, they embodied the Senate, they declared that the Tarquinii were to be exiled, and they declared a republic. Hearing of the revolution, Superbus rode back to Rome with his army at once, but found the gates barred to him. It was now, camped outside of Rome, that letters arrived from the new Senate, which were read to the troops. The soldiers, by their own accord, held a vote, 
and by overwhelming majority upheld the revolution. They defected to the new republic and they drove away the deposed king. On that day, a new republic was born, one that would last for 500 years, and never again in Rome would a king reign. Lucretia was a woman attacked, threatened by powerful men, and the victim of tyranny. In the face of this tyranny against her, Lucretia sacrificed. She sacrificed everything she had and everything she ever would have, not just for her, but for her people and her country. She sacrificed to bring about a new era, a new republic, and the death of tyranny. Seek Semper Tyrannus. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you liked that, be sure to like and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter down below. See you later.